What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go ahead and rip some Panini Prism football. So I was able to get these over at Target online when they were on sale, of course. They're definitely sold out now. And uh, they just arrived at my front door. So we're going to go ahead and do a video on the rip and see how good this product is. Is this a buy? Is this a pass? We'll see. Um, just a heads up, you guys. Once again, thank you for helping uh, the channel reach 400 subscribers. We're on our way to 500. More or less, we will be doing the giveaway live on Tuesday. So make sure you guys double check when I do go live on Tuesdays. It's a more of an unannounced giveaway. So make sure you guys jump in. And then when we do the giveaway, hashtag so-and-so, you guys place that in when... We give the, I guess, the command or the directions to do so on Tuesday, on Show and Tell Tuesday. And you will be entered into winning uh, the giveaway live on Tuesday. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what this product is all about. So let's go ahead and switch over. Hopefully you guys are all having a good day. Crazy stuff. Of course, football season, regular season is over. This is the 2023 Panini Prism Mega Box. 42 cards, uh, 5 Mega Box exclusive pink prisms. Of course, the Walmart ones are the green pulsars that you're able to get. Now, the crazy stuff over here. 7 cards per pack, 6 packs per box. You can find 5 pink prisms, as stated. Find 1 memorabilia card. And find 3 silver prisms. And here is the back of that if you guys want to take a, a, a snapshot of it. Um, so you can pull the black and red checkerboards. Those tends to be uh, super short prints. You are able to pull rookie autographs right there. Rookie autograph prisms, it is possible. Uh, what else? Prismatics, that's pretty new. Rookie gear on average. And of course, the main thing is you're trying to pull some type of color rookie right so a good colored rookie and of course the guy you're trying to chase at the moment who's pretty darn hot is this guy right here cj stroud uh realistically guys i'll let you know super hard to pull his cards from this product i've seen some nightmare type openings and people are ripping a ton of these and not pulling one base cj stroud it's super hard to pull his cards they made it Almost short print in some ways. He definitely didn't make a lot of his base cards or even his prism cards. So go into this product knowing what you're getting yourself into. I was able to buy this for four uh fifty nine ninety nine. So you know, sixty bucks. Is it a buy for you? I don't know. Maybe the best direction is to buy a twenty nine nine the blaster boxes. More or less you're gonna pull two rated rookie colors out of these. We don't know if we're going to pull a Raider Rookie Silver. It is possible. You could also pull the Variation Silvers out of these as well. The main thing for me, if I pull a CJ Stroud, even a base card, um, his base card, I'll consider that as a win. Because it's super hard uh, this year to pull even his base cards. But without further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and rip it. Let's see what we're able to get, good, uh, get out of this. Good luck. I did. I was able to buy three of these, so I will open maybe another one during my live, more or less. That's what's going to happen. Overall, it was a pretty expensive buy. I am not going to open a lot of Prism. I'll be honest with you guys. I think the value for it is not as good as opening Optic Football. But you have to really get luck, honestly. Yeah, luck has to be on your side when you rip this product because it's not easy to pull anything big and the main guy you're trying to get really realistically is cj stroud the next guy i would say is richardson anthony richardson but i like the fact that they keep this kind of packaged that way so it doesn't get damaged all right i do like the presentation of everything we'll put that like so there we go good luck to us you guys see the six packs right there hopefully you don't pull our mem card right off the bat and hopefully it's a good mem card. Uh, heck, I will even take a CJ Stroud mem card as a win. Realistically. Uh, his cards are super hard to pull. I think Optic is a little bit easier. Optic, when th that comes out, is always easier to pull the, the quarterbacks you want. 
or the players that you want. We have a Dawson, a Dawson Knox, TJ Hawkinson. We have Zach Wilson. Oh my gosh, this guy. So much hype, and uh, he never performed, and honestly, he never did. Um, yep, see so just uh, Zach Wilson right there. We do have a pink coming up and a silver, so here we go. Our first silver. It's not going to be a rookie, as most of the times it's not. Um, Chris Olave. Too bad this, this is second year, not his first, but that is a beautiful design. Just like how Basketball Prism is, I do like the design. The quality of the cards of Panini Prism, they have been doing a better job as not having print lines and stuff. So the quality control has been a whole lot better realistically. Look how beautiful that is. And our pink is going to be a cowboy, not a Raider rookie, of Michael Gallup. And beautiful in pink. I always like the pink cards. I do like them. I do like these over the green pulsars. The green pulsars tend to be very cheesy looking, in my opinion. And here we go. We got Buccaneers. Oh, man, that's not what you want to see. Uh, Yaya Dayabi. You do not want uh, defensive guys. And our charger, our next charger, Quinton Johnson. Uh, Elijah Dotson. So at least at least it's an uh, offensive player. When it, you kind of, for chargers, you want Quinton Johnson right there. So two, two rookies so far. So maybe you get two uh, rookies per pack. That wouldn't be too terrible. I do like the presentation of this. No mem card in this one. We got a, a Cortland Sutton. I wonder what they think the Broncos are going to do with Cortland Sutton. If he's going to be traded away or or not. Sky Moore. We got Kyle Trask. Oh my goodness, Kyle Trask. Losing his job. Uh, let's see here. I have so much Kyle Trask cards. Jets. Not a rookie. We do have Aaron Rodgers. That's a cool one. We'll keep that. And our pink. Beautiful pink. Let it be a rookie. Falcons. Bajon Robinson. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Bajon Robinson. Beautiful card. On the pink. That's good. So that's our first rookie pink. And we got a Deontay Banks right behind it. One. And the fireworks of Bryce Young. Not too shabby. I, I'm not big on Bryce Young realistically. Um, this guy has been very disappointing. Might very well be a bust as well. But you never know. You never know. And then we have a... You could win. There's a... There's a... Was a kid reporter for any of you guys that use that? Well, sleeve some of this up. Ray John Robinson's for sleeping up. The same thing with the Bryce Young. Let's see if we can pull some type of CG Stroud card. That would be awesome. Um, super hard, guys. Go go in with this expectation that um, you're not going to pull much, realistically. I've seen some very bad, like I said, horror stories. We'll present that right there. Um, right now, that's probably going to be a, one of our better pulls right there with the Bryce Young. All right, this feels like a mem card, so we might want to save that for last. All right. And if you guys are wondering the reason why Anthony Richardson is on here and, and Pay Manning, it's due to the fact that, um, you know, they uh, they didn't really, let, let's say, they didn't really, uh, they didn't really uh, uh, sign with the Panini. So give me one moment, guys. Give me one moment. Give me one moment. Sorry about that, you guys. Uh, there was... People upstairs making some noise. I have to tell them to kind of calm down. Um, okay, let's go into our next pack. That is not our Mim. We do have Kyle Murray, uh, Kyle Murray right there. Uh, Keenan Allen kind of made me lose my uh, fancy because he wasn't playing. Got injured. Him and uh, him and um, Justin Herbert. Uh, Taysom Hill. Steelers, we have a Najee Harris. Our pink for the Jets is going to be a Quinn and Williams. He's a great player. Quinn and Williams is a beast. Not the guy you want, though. 
Jaguars, we do have a Tank Basie. That's not too shabby. Bank Taze, uh, Tank Basie, Bigsby. We we'll definitely put him in our better rookie pile right here. And we got Zach Harrison. Followed by another kid reporter. So yeah, you get about two rookies per pack, which is not terrible. That's actually that's actually pretty good. You just gotta land on the right guys, you know? Like realistically, you just gotta land on the right guy. Two two per pack is not terrible. That's actually pretty good. Um, we got Drake London, followed by a Jair Alexander, Matt Judon. Our silver is going to be an Adam Thielen. Oh man, that would have been great if that was a, a Bryce Young on the silver. And for the Raiders, we got Tyree Wilson. So it looks like we're going to get pretty much duds when it comes to our pinks because. Like I said before, you normally get two pink color. Uh, Cam Smith right there for the Dolphins, followed by a Stefan Diggs uh, Prismatic. That's a pretty cool card right there to insert. That Prismatic is pretty cool. Really do like that. Uh, but let me uh, let me sleeve up that pink right there of Tyree Wilson. Not the guy you want. Like I said, you don't want like these defensive guys. And unfortunately, that might have been our last luck or draw. We haven't pulled a mem card yet. I would like to have at least one silver uh, silver rookie. You know, that's the problem with these. Three silver rookies. Is it worth it? I, I don't know. It's only worth it if you guaranteed one, at least one rookie of some sort. Uh, we got Miles Garrett. Uh, Kyrene Williams. So what we could hope for, at least for the last the few pinks, is that we pull some good vet in the color. G uh, John Riggins right there. That's pretty cool for my commanders or skins. There we go. Pink is going to be a Derwin James. Oh, we got oh, this guy, man. I, I hate this guy so much. I, I don't know how to describe it. He pops up in every single product I've been ripping. Like, he's... He's like the Kyle Trask of this year. Dorian Thompson Robinson. Like, I, they're printing his cards to death. I'm not surprised I pulled them. Because I knew, I, I almost felt like I knew I was going to pull his. Just because he's showing up in almost every product. His chances of pulling him is in every single product. Israeli Banak Kanda. Wow, try to say that. Jets. And then we have another kid, kid reporter right there. Last pack right here. go that of course we do have our amendment there we got Luke uh, uh, was it Luke quick um, Cakely I believe I can never say his name correctly we got Bailey Zapp Seahawks Noah Fant or silver, come on. See, look at that. Come on now, Travis Kelce. That's not bad, but I mean, like, come on, three silvers, three guaranteed silvers, and all vets. That that's not good. Like, there should at least be one silver rookie, at least, especially with the cost of the product. Um, we're gonna just go ahead and do it. Uh, well, I don't know. Should we go from the back here? Let's go. Let's let's put that right there. We got a. Uh, Dayton Vian Wicks for the, the Packers. We got uh, Enigma. That's not too too shabby. Enigma is a good player. And our pink, our, our, our mem, we're going to just go ahead and do it. Let's see. One, two, three. Come on, one time. Hendon Hooker. Hendon Hooker on the... I almost thought that was a Bryce Young for a moment, but uh, no, of course not. Um, so this is my thoughts on it, you guys, like realistically. Um, I don't think it's worth it to open up the mega boxes at the cost that they are. Realistically, in my opinion, it's better to rip maybe two blaster boxes 
um, the whole drive of this was the possibility of pulling an autograph, which is doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Um, you do get, let's see how much rookies we did get. We got, let's see what the rookie amounts that we did get as far as basis, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not bad, though. Ten, ten bases, not too shabby. Uh, but like I always tell people, the main issue is the color, right? You'll point two color of rookies, Bajon, Robinson, and the Tyree Wilson. Two rookie colors, one guaranteed mem. Um, two colors, like you pull two color lasers or discos out of a blaster box, and that's only 30 bucks. So if you want to increase your odds of pulling a colored of a good rookie, say Bryce Young, Richardson, or even, of course, CJ Stroud, the best right, uh, move or the best way to do about doing it, I would say, is to open up blaster boxes. Open up blaster boxes. If hangers show up, maybe start opening up the hangers. Um, that might be the way to go. I know that people open up a lot of uh, blasters, have been pulling variations pretty easy. But three silvers, all silvers being vet, is garbage. Mega boxes, are, are that's bad. That's bad. Um, we'll see again. I'll open another one here shortly. Maybe do another video and release that and see how that works out. But I will give at the moment right now, there's not enough on this product. I will give it a 5 out of 10. Just the price is not there. Um, you're only pulling two rookie colors, which is usually the case anyways. But it's even harder at the price of $59.99. If it was $49.99, that wouldn't hurt as much. But that's pretty bad, like realistically. Um, not too bad though. We did pull the Bajon Robinson. He's he's actually a really good player. We did pull the at least one good quarterback, or if you call him good quarterback, one of the top quarterbacks. And then we pulled also the Hendon Hooker, which is not too shabby. I do like the plasmatic, um, the prismatic uh, of Stephen Diggs. I although although I wish it was um, it was a silver of some sort. I think the quality of the cards pop really well i do like the design the quality of the cards are really good so not too shabby in that aspect but as far as value maybe maybe don't rip prism maybe wait until optic comes out there's case how case hits out of optic course with the downtowns that by, might be the method to go guys or try a different format either blasters hangers if they do bring out hangers or cello packs that might be the method or way to go um once again, you guys, if you haven't already, share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And as always, collect what you love, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace, guys.